Hey everybody, so um, a couple of weeks ago we did the Polaris Team Challenge uh, against uh, uh, against uh, Team UK, and now uh, now we're gonna break it down. Technique. So one of the techniques I used against my fight against Bryn Jenkins, I was playing guard, and he has a strong guard. He had his, he had a uh, strong leg, so it was hard to like get anything going. When I was playing here, I couldn't get get him to open up as much as I wanted. So as when he was turned to this side, what I did was I was pulling him back. You see, so he falls down to this side, so it makes him follow me. You see, I'm just going like this, and I pushed it down here, and then I just dived in for the for my over under, and immediately I got the tight grip around uh, around the leg, and now when he started uh, posturing because he wanted to push me away, I started to turn the corner and going around, and what happens is when he started to push me away is that he is exposing his back. So always like shoulder shrugging like this and going around with my butt as much as I could. And I reached for the neck. And when I continue to turn, he started letting go and now. So when you see here, I could dive in, but I secured my first hook in the beginning, boom. And I fell in here. And then I hipped back and I got the back control. And this one time. I like to use this quite a lot when I'm fighting guys that have strong legs and they're following you. So say I'm here and I'm going back, you see? He, he follows me, I drive in like this immediately. He starts to posture and I start to go around the corner. And as I go, he will lift up his butt like this. I grab the neck here and I shoulder shrug like this, growing around now, get, trying to secure my hook if I can. Of course, like if it's hard, if he's blocking it, this can be hard, but most of the times it's in the scramble, so then I can just drag and take his back. And in my other fight against uh, Sam, Sam Gibson, uh, we were in a scramble. I, I started off my position like uh, sweeping, and I did the sleeve de la Hiva sweep. Getting here, I kicked my opponent out here, and he fell down. No other way. He fell down like this, and he tucked in his knee like this. So we turn. So now I have sleeve control. I have sleeve control and I changed my ankle grip to go for the, because I was kind of confused of what he wanted to do. So I grabbed his collar in the, in, uh, in the beginning, but then as he, I saw like he was lifting up a little bit, I grabbed the close part of his hip. Now, so if we turn, if we turn a little bit so they see. So as you see, when he's going up, now he's leaving this space and it, I was able to pull myself in with my hip and I could counter his barambolo. Now switching to my twister hook and kicking out and then taking my opponent's back. And I tried, but he had a good defense. He kept turtling, so I overstepped him, getting, getting to the mount. Now from here, getting into my high mount and I was starting to get, get my cross choke. In the beginning, I was doing uh, uh, palms down, double, but I was failing with it, like going here, but he, had, he was defending. It was really hard, but then like I was isolating, pull, fist down to the floor, going here, and getting my head close, 
and then he from here he swept me and I finished my sweep and I finished my submission so again so the sequence was I go from here and I kick my opponent out I go but he falls down tucks his knee in this one here and now you can change yourself you can I will grab here and uh, no sorry I will keep the sleeve if you turn I will keep the sleeve and go for the collar in case he came up. Since I saw his hip, hip moving, I changed my grip to the butt. And you see this space here. This is where I need to get my knee over his knee. And as he was inverting, it was easier for me to pull myself up. And immediately going for that dog collar grip here. Now securing my twister and kicking out. Like he immediately felt this, so he was turning, and I overstepped him immediately here. So I get into the mount. Of course, if I get stuck in this half guard position, I had to make, maintain my shoulder pressure to be able to get out, trying to get a high mount, and then slowly work my way up for the submission. So there are many, many other details to these. Uh, to my fights, so make uh, make sure to check him out on UFC Fight Pass. Hey guys. So at the Polaris event, I was able to take it back in both of my matches. So I'm going to cover those back sequences. So the first back attack I had was against Bradley Hill. I pulled guard and we went into the double pull position. And I came here. So the first thing I did was going for the pan grip. I prefer going for the pan grip instead of the belt for the main reason of the belt can fall off. So it's easy to lose the position then. But when you have the pan grip, it's very solid and it's hard to lose it. So I went, I went for this grip and I start inverting. So I inverted, but while doing this, I was using this leg. So as you can see, I was using this leg to maintain uh, contact. Because one of the most important things when you're doing the marabolo is not losing uh, the contact. Because if you have a lot of, lot of space, they're going to escape. So I focused on pulling myself in, being tight. While doing that, I took, my, I took my knee under his knee. The reason for doing this was for me to be able to start going for a crab ride position. I prefer being in this one because I have a lot of options there and it's really hard for him to attack my legs. If I'm here, he can start to attack. So I went for this position, went there, and I started to feed. And right away, I fed up the leg and then took this one behind. Now I can use, I use my leg to lift the hip. Because what I want to, I want to expose the back of him. And when he has the back like this, it's gonna be difficult. So I kicked and got my hip under like this. I pulled and right away his hand came like this. And if I didn't do anything here, he would probably grab my gi and give me a hard time. So right away when I saw the arm, I grabbed it. I pulled and started to go for the back. Immediately, he was doing a, doing a good escape, so he rolled, and I had to follow, and eventually, we ended up in the mount position. So, again, from here, double pull, double pull position, pan grip here, okay? I was hooking, pulling myself in, Used the knee, made some space, right away kicked and elevated his hip. Because now I was exposing his back. I pulled here on the material, I saw the arm, so right away I grabbed it and pulled. And start going for the back. He rolled, so I had to roll after. And he rolled, 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 and ended up getting into the mount position. That was my first leg take. This was more a traditional setup. And then in 
my uh, second match, I also had a back take, but this time uh, from standing. So I was, he was doing the sit up guard here, and he was laying down like this. I can, I like to control the legs here, because otherwise I can start going for X guard or whatever. So I hold the leg, and then I saw he was trying to underhook my leg like this. And I knew if he gets the underhook, he can do a lot of attacks. So the moment he started going for the underhook, I lifted up and I stood on the leg. This uh, limits him a lot, because it's really hard for him to attack now. So I was standing like this, going forward. He pulled the leg here, trying to frame. So what I did was pull the leg forward, use the second hand to pull him, and then anytime I'm able to make someone invert, I immediately think about taking the back. So what I did, I let go of the foot, I grabbed the pants, and I jumped down. And look, what I did was my knee behind his knee. This is very important. So you jump, uh, jump down, and you put the knee behind. By doing this, he's gonna have a hard time pulling me into the 50-50, because he, he was holding on to this leg. If I didn't have my knee here, he would for sure put me in here. But this, me saved me. From here, I went up and I got into the crab ride position. Eventually, I start looking for the grips. And what I like to do, I like to get upper body control and I like to control the cross collar because now it's pretty easy to take the back. But the ski was very open, so I had to go for the closest one. It's not as good, but it works. From here, I like to re bolo use my legs and my hands to pull him here boom okay from here I threw my leg in a lot of the times when you do that so you start crab riding and you throw your leg in they get very stressed and they start focusing on this leg trying to get it away when they're doing that it's perfect time to go for the neck grip so immediately when he was holding on to my leg I went for the neck grip and I did a pull up and I pulled him towards me and eventually, I found my way to the back. So again, I did sit up guard here. The moment he undocked, so you here. The moment he undocked, I stood on top of his leg. He started to block here. I focused on making him invert and getting him on the neck, and then turn around. And then when his back was exposed, I grabbed the pant and jumped down like this, getting my knee in here. From here, starting to invert and getting into the crab ride. I went for the collar, but this one was too far away, so I, gra I grabbed the closest one and I re and bolo'd and pulled him here. Threw my leg in, he focused on that leg, so I grabbed the neck and I used my arm pull him towards me, and then eventually find my way to his back. So this was some of the techniques we did at the event. And if you want to watch more, go to UFC Pass. And if you like our style and like the technique, check out wolfacademy.com.